Kiss is what you call, I guess, one of the hottest young motion picture personalities around. She is uh, in a picture, I think it's just been released, has it not? Uh, Slither with James Caan, it's already out. And in Warner Brothers' Lost Horizon, which premieres, I think, in the next day or two. Would you welcome, please, Sally Kellerman. moment I swear I don't know I had a terrible panic when I turned around briefly and I thought you had nothing on from the waist up so help me and I said she's doing something strange tonight oh she is doing it no uh -oh. I wouldn't come on here without a top too well <laughs> I'm on my way to see the queen I don't want to that's yeah. right you are as I read the she is at, there's a command performance of lost horizons lost for the horizon. queen of England yeah do you ever uh Appeared before royalty before? I've never seen the Queen before, but I have so many messages for her, you know, from all my friends. <laughs> Say hello to the Queen, huh? Yeah. What, uh, there's certain protocol you have um, to go through, isn't there? Well, my niece, eight years old, is teaching me how to curtsy and things, you know. Yeah. She's working me over every weekend. You know, Sally, do you know how to curtsy? And I got a letter from her the other day saying she was very proud that I was going to see the Queen, you know. But does one really curtsy sweet. to the Queen, I guess? How, how does one curtsy? Have you prepped? I don't know. Uh, are you is asking? It, yes, do you know how to curtsy to the Queen? If you're going to have to do this yet? Uh, <clears throat> just what my niece taught me. I mean... You want right. to give us this? Certainly, I was hoping... Just pretend that... I'm the queen. All right. I was hoping that you were going to play some kind of pomp and circumstance so I could kind of walk so in, you know, dragging get into my toe. A... Something like... Not night train. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. know how to do this. Why have I gotten up? I don't know, but I just thought it'd be fun. Uh, something like, you know... I'll be the queen. Hi, can we... Something like... As I slip That's away... That's nice. But I don't, no, I but I don't think there. you say, hi, queen. <laughs> I think, I think that's wrong. I don't think you say, hi, queen. I, mean, I, I think you first... Let me see, wait a minute. Ta-da, I, I'm going to go, nice. I, there's no room here. I hope there's more room to That's a nice room. curtsy. Thank uh, you, sir. That's a nice curtsy. <laughs> I bet you can uh, hardly wait to see my movies now that you've I, seen me curtsy. Oh, yes. <laughs> you curtsy very nice. I think you call her Her Majesty first, and then after it's ma'am after that. Then queen. <laughs> no, then ma'am. Oh, yeah? That's strange. Have you seen her? No. No. <laughs> Men don't curtsy to the queen, do they? I don't know, but I have this. You bow to the queen. Oh. Bow to the queen. I just thought of it. my friend, you know Mark Waddell? He's a film director. Yeah. Johnny Williams, who's a composer. They went to see Princess Anne or something, and I don't think I'm going to tell this very well, but you get a, a letter before you go in saying, do, please do not initiate conversation. You have to wait until you they You have to speak. wait. So just before they got to uh, Mark and Johnny, Mark said, Johnny, I'm a little nervous. And Johnny said, eh, let me handle this, Mark. Just watch how I handle it. And when... Princess Anne got to him. She said, "And Mr. Williams, how, you know, how long does it take to uh, score a film? You know." And he said, Ahem. four or five weeks, uh, five or six, uh, seven or eight. You know." And anyway, it just went on and on. He didn't want her to go, but he knew he couldn't say anything, so he just kept answering the question. Nine or ten. Nine or ten. Three or four months. Four or six. Nine or three. You know, really. It's well. funny. I think no matter how sophisticated uh, people are. Something seems to happen to them. I guess it's because of brainwashing or of the, uh, the, the cultural background of England. And they get very uptight. I've talked to a lot of people who uh, you think are very... And they get in the presence of some, the queen or something like that in royalty, and they become like children. Yeah. And they say dumb things or they just stand there. So, I ought to think... But you cannot uh, not, not initiate conversation, I guess. No, they have to I do don't that. know. I don't know. I've, as I say, I have so many messages <laughs> for her, you know. Did you think you were going to get typecast after you did M.A.S.H.? Was that the first... I think to most people's attention, when you played the uh, Hot Lips Hooligan, the nurse in MASH in the motion picture, yeah. was that your first big... Uh... It, was, it was, and I, I did. I mean, it would have been easy to, you know, because I got about 143 to 47, air, you know, airplane, helicopter pictures, you know, being dropped into, you know, different places, Vietnam, dropped into the right. Israel, you know. I mean, there was a lot of those, and I just... I just hung on because I loved doing Hot Lips and I, you know, love Robert Altman and that whole experience. But I knew I wasn't just Hot Lips, you know. I knew that there was a lot of other stuff that I wanted to do. And so I just waited. And I was married and, you know, had a sweet house and a lot of gardening to do myself. And, uh, you So know, you just waited for something you thought so was I right? Just, I just hung on, you know, and until I, you know, did something else. I guess then I did Brewster and then I did a picture they never released. That was the one that, that I wasn't like Hot Lips the most, you know. <laughs> Well, now everything is going so well for you. Do you find it difficult to, you know, to work on the pictures at the same time? And you're singing now, and I understand doing an album. I did uh, an album. Did you do it already? I did. I've done one called "Roll with the Feeling" on Decca, and now I'm, uh, 
I'm working with a terrific musician named Ray Scantlin who writes and plays. And um, I'm going to make some singles. One with Barry Manilow for Bell. But no, I don't find it difficult. I made two pictures this year. One with uh, James Kahn. I saw him on your show the other night. Yeah. Who is so darling. A picture called Slither. That we just got reviewed today, and and we've had a lot of screenings. And the audiences have just flipped. I mean, it's really a movie, movie, an entertainment, you know. And it's I get to wear jeans and a t-shirt and swear a lot, so it's actually my favorite. Is, is that know. the way you normally like to dance? Just <laughs> jeans and a t-shirt is what I like to yeah. put on. But I mean, it was different, you know. And and in Lost, anyway, the pictures, you know, slither, and it, it was terrific. And Lost, I don't know what you asked me now. I've been so busy. I haven't <laughs> seen Lost Horizon. I don't think Lost Horizon is open yet, is it? Neither one of them have. Oh. So they're open well, that's probably Friday. why I haven't seen them. <laughs> that's right. Uh. And Lost Horizon uh, tomorrow night to premiere. Yeah. What, do you play, what role, kind of role do you play in there? I play sort of a despondent pillhead. That's kind of a, you know, that's not a comedy. I mean, it's a lovely, yeah. kind of affirmative, uh, hopeful story. Probably everybody saw the original Lost Horizon, but this is a Burt Backright musical now yeah. with Peter Finch and Lee Woolman. And I play a despondent pillhead who tries to kill myself in Lost Ar in, in Shangri-La, and then I get rehabilitated and sing and dance, you know. Mm. Get to sing again. <laughs> you really want to dance. sing, don't you? Would you rather be a singer or an actress? I mean, if you had your, if you had your choice, you know, I, I say, I hey, you can do acting motion pictures or you can sing. I have this fantasy, you know, that I want to... Uh, I mean, I love to act, and I love the opportunity, and I love being successful, you know, and getting to, you know, being able to sit and wait and, ho you know, and get a nice role. But my fantasy is to have a couple of babies and uh, make an album a year, you know, and then maybe a picture a year or two. But I don't, I don't want to not do either one, but I have been working steadily on my music yeah. for a long time, you know. And, and really, if, uh, you know, I, told, I may have told you before, but I, I spent a couple of years with Gene and Billy Page, who are terrific, you know, I mean, and an arranger and a producer. Yeah. Made my first album with them, and then I just kind of gone out of my own and found this other terrific musician. That's great. I'm now going to do some other things. Like Let me that. pause here and sell something for a couple of moments. Okay. <coughs> we'll be back after we have a message. No, it's all right. <laughs> oh, my God.